Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's word to you today. And I'm here with my beautiful wife. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. And we are so excited and blessed sharing our 10 years journey with you. Now the Lord commanded us to do this and we know that we are blessing your life. Mm. And we, we are going into all these details to help you because the truth is this, if you do what we did, you will get the same result. Mm -hmm. God is not a respecter of person. Now mm -hmm. that's why we're taking time to go into details. Mm -hmm. So you don't miss anything in the process. Not, not just once I was blind, now I see. How did you How see? Did you see? The detail is always <laughs> important. Yeah. What happened mm -hmm. between the time of your blindness and, and your, your sight? sight. So yeah. that someone else will say, okay, you know what? Okay. If I do the same mm -hmm. thing, if I follow mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. process, mm -hmm. I will get the same result. Exactly. Knowing that it is God that is the doer of all, all things. things. Yes. Praise God. yes. Hallelujah. Before we go into today and continue our story, can mm -hmm. we call for that daily bread? Yeah, sure. Join us right now. Release mm -hmm. your faith and mm -hmm. say, Father. Father. I demand I now. I demand right now. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to it's me. It's coming to me. In, in Jesus. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Expect a miracle today. Yeah. Your daily bread, bread is everything you need to be good today. today. So whether you need money, whether you need favor, whether you need an appointment, wisdom. whether you need wisdom, mm. whether you need health, mm. David said. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and do not forget, forget all his benefits. His benefit. yeah. And then he said, He who forgives all our iniquities, who heals uh, all our diseases, mm. who delivers our life from, from destruction, destruction. Redeems who our redeems our lives. Yeah, that's the word, redeem yeah. our life yeah. from destruction, yeah. who crowns us with loving kindness, with loving kindness and, tender and tender mercy. He talks about um, renewing our youth. He renews our youth. He, 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 he fills our mouth, mouth with, with good, good, things, good things so that our youth, youth is renewed, renewed like the like eagles. The eagles. Yeah. David said, don't forget these things <laughs> when you bless the Lord. Yes, he said he, he, he daily, daily loads us with, with benefits. benefits. He daily loads us with, with benefits. benefits. Yes. Don't forget all his benefits. So it's not just money, food. No, no, no. All. Oh. You need healing in your body? Take, Take it, it today. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So when we make this demand, know what you're asking for. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You on a sick bed right now. You haven't been receiving your benefit all this while. Today we encourage you. Can you receive your healing right benefit now. and get up from that sick bed? and be healed mm. praise god praise thank god. you lord jesus hallelujah yes so continue from yesterday yeah so that day came and then we we went to the hospital the night before mm. and got ready mm. Ooh, this 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 woman what did i do <laughs> <laughs> what did i do on our way to the hospital we must take pictures first <laughs> <laughs> I'm yes, telling you, we had to go to a studio. Yes, yes, yes. We need the memories. We need the memories. I, after after all your crying and uh -huh. you know, like, let's go to the other. I said, yes. to do what? Let's go to the other. And so we had to stop by a studio <laughs> and did a studio session. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We need to be. If there was no picture, how will we show what happened there? <laughs> you know, I told you, my sister said when she looked at me, she was like, How will you even push a baby the way yeah, you are? Because yeah. I was really thin. I was, yeah. I was, I used to tell myself then that I look like a skeleton with a tummy <laughs> because it was really bad, you know. So somehow I told myself, I need. I need this memory yeah. because you do not forget what God does for you. And we have technology. Yeah. So if sometimes you need to see the physical picture of yeah. what God has done for you. Yeah. So you can also tell your children True. so they can also build their faith based on your experience. Because the Bible also tells us whatever God does for us, it says what he tells you, write it, print it, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Man of God. I'm doing the word now. 
Me, I decided to print my own instead of writing it on my body. Okay, praise God. Hallelujah. So we, we got to the hospital and the day came, that morning came. And I was right there at the hospital. Yeah. And, and they took you into the theater. Yeah. And of course, I was praying. praying in the we spirit. had fever with the bills, remember? Yeah, yeah, God, yes, God more. supplied. Yeah. Yes, and that God's... was also a, a test for us to know that God was in it. Yes, he yes, provided. yes, he, he, he did provide. He provided, he provided wonderfully. And, yeah. and and you know how your CSCS, the private hospital? Pretty expensive. But then the Lord it began was, to provide yeah, the money. Yeah. So I said, no what? He has even provided the mm -hmm. money. So what mm -hmm. is it? What is it? Let's go ahead. Mm -hmm. So we got there. And I was praying in the spirit. And then my wife was in, and less than less than twenty minutes, mm -hmm. baby. The baby cried, mm -hmm. like, "Oh, okay." Mm -hmm. Now sitting down there, like, "Okay, Lord, what do we call this baby. child?" Now, because that pregnancy was challenging, yes. we didn't, we didn't, we didn't and the Lord even hid it from us. Yes, he didn't even tell us didn't the know. sex because of the baby. Because I was trying to know, is it a boy? Is yes, it a girl? We didn't. Even the and doctors couldn't suspect. They couldn't, yeah, yes. yeah, they, they tried. Yes. Yeah, they tried. Because at some point, like, can pain, we check? Yes, so, the pain was so much. Number one, just the fibroid to is leave blocking. Yeah. Just, to just leave it. Yeah. yeah. At least the baby is okay. The yeah. heartbeat is okay. Yes. Everything is okay. Yes. You know, so. yes. Yes. Like, okay. So I was praying and said, Lord, what do we call this child? And I heard the Lord say, Zuria. And I said, Zuria. Was me, I was, uh, yeah. Of course, I start checking and googling and stuff, and I saw a meaning that made real sense: mm. the strength of God. Of God, mm. and I say, God is my rock. Yeah. Mm. So the strength of God. I say, whoa. This baby had strength. <laughs> she had to fight all the prayers I was giving her in the yeah. room. Oh. You know, so, so now that's how the name came. Mm -hmm. I just said the Lord said Zura. Wow, Zura. So they brought the they brought the baby out. And so it was a girl. Mm -hmm. You know, so wheeled her into the room, bit the child and did all that stuff. Now I was waiting for my wife to come to come out. And then ah, the weight was now getting longer. extended, yeah. getting longer. I was like, yeah. ah, oh, this is not what the doctor said. The doctor said, you know, he kind of gave me an idea mm. that it won't take uh, long. It won't take long. Yeah. In, in less than 20 minutes, mm. the baby should be out. Mm. Uh, what will be remaining is teaching mm. your wife. Mm. And then now the baby was out. I've seen the baby. Okay, where is my wife? Nobody, the, the, my wife is not out. Now, think about 20 minutes after we've reached one hour, you know, beyond one hour. Now, I began to panic in my heart. Like, I hope nothing is wrong with my wife, you know. So I was just waiting and, and waiting. And then, you know, once in a while, a nurse will come out. Like, sorry, what's going on? No, it's okay. Everything is okay. We'll soon be done. You'll soon be done. This is not what the doctor said. You know? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Truly. You know, so I, I was waiting and then all of a sudden they came out to me and handed me. That's the doctor two himself. Bags. Not the doctor. Okay. One of the, the theater attendants. Okay. You know, came and handed me two bags. I okay. said, This is the placenta and the fibroid. I said, Fi what? The fibroid. They took out the fibroid. I said, yes. I, is my wife okay? <laughs> said, yeah, she'll soon be out. I was speechless. I was speechless. Now that's when I remembered what the Lord said. Mm. My, doc, my angels be will there. be in the theater. theater. I said, oh Lord, is this what you meant? Mm. What made the doctor change his, his mind? mind? What happened in that theater? I would like to know. So, of course, now I was still in somewhere in my mind, I was still worried about my wife you know, because she was not out yet. And until they wheeled her out and brought her in. So, I think one of the doctors had to explain to me that uh, because of the CS, that's why they stayed longer. longer. You know, and all that. So I, I was still speechless. I couldn't talk. 
So later on, now I've seen you the anesthetic, the anesthesia have way um, weird off. Mm. And no, you I was knocked okay. out. I was knocked out and I was, yes, I know. I, was out. Yeah. I know. Mm. You were okay. I have spoken to you. Mm. At least my wife is fine. Okay, so, okay. Talking about after. Yeah. So I went to see the, I went to look for the doctor. Mm. I got to his office. I said, Doctor, I want to know what happened, happened in that head. How did it change your mind? So he now told me, he said, look, that this pregnancy, this CS was divine. That it was God that did. Now, this is a doctor. Of course, he was he was born again, so it was easy for him to understand. And he said, this one, that it was the Lord that took over this CS. Mm. I said, no, I want to know. I don't want just the hell, bless, bless God. No, what did the Lord do so that we know how to praise Him? <laughs> so He told me, He said, Listen, now, first and foremost, when He opened your, you know, they cut the tummy first before they get to the womb. And He said, The, the womb wasn't sitting properly mm. the way it's supposed to sit. Mm. And which He even explained to me, He said, Now, most times when you hear of, um, um, Deaths that are related to uh, Death, CS, yes. that's what happened. Mm. If you cut the wrong place, mm. the person's going to bleed to death. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you, it will be difficult to control the bleed. Mm. So now there was fibroid in there and all that. So this 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 womb wasn't sitting properly. properly. And if you cut the wrong place, you're in trouble. So he said at that point, what he knew to do was to start praying in the spirit. Mm. And in praying in the spirit, he had he said he he told me he says he had the Lord tell him where to cut, mm. and he cut that place. The moment he cut it, the womb sat properly, and it was the the place he was supposed to cut. Now remember, the Lord said, "My angels will, will be, be there in that head." So now that's how they were able to bring out the baby, and then they brought out the baby, and they now noticed you were bleeding, bleeding, yeah, and they started tracing where that the blood, blood was, was coming from. from. He said they traced and because they did everything right. they were supposed to do, yes. they did everything right. There was yes. no complications, yes. you know. But where is this blood coming from? They began to trace, and in the process of tracing, they moved the fibroid out, you know, just to search. Just shifted it a little bit. Yeah. So he said, as he was putting back the fibroid, so that they can stitch you up mm. and close, mm. as they were putting back the fibroid, he said the word of the Lord came to him and asked him, Are you going to put back this fibroid? So he turned to the anesthesia, the, the anesthetic guy, mm. and said, Hey, because the other people, nurses and stuff, he said, This is what I'm hearing. What do you guys think? He said, I mean, you can go ahead. Mm. We're with you. Whatever you decide, we're with you. Mm. So they now, I know, that to bring out the baby, they gave you this uh, partial. I know. Yeah. spinal anesthesia yeah. so you were awake and sick yeah. but this time now they had to give now did they? i just heard them you know after because i was you know upper part of me yeah. was still okay so i had when they actually brought baby to me mm. brought real to me I, I i saw her cuddled her a little bit mm. before they took her to dress her and all of that and then i just started hearing them speaking in tongues after a while like they all just started pre- he was speaking in tongues and then they all started playing. I remember you were playing music. Inside. Yes, because I had, re- I had requested that I wanted the atmosphere to be serene, that if I could play any song I wanted. So yeah. I played Sinatra's I Know, I know who, who I, I Am. I remember. Yeah, so the song was already playing. He, had set, it, he had set it in the theater. I, I walked, I was wheeled in with the song Some already play, playing. Yeah. Yes, so. I was just busy singing, worshiping, and then just putting my mind on God, mm-hmm. knowing that yeah. they were doing stuff with me. So I was now wondering why they, of course, before they started, they all prayed and everything. So I just expected that baby's out. Okay, so was, uh, because I was not supposed to be fully knocked out. Yeah, so I yeah. knew what was going on. So why the delay? So I just like, Lord, just take over. Then I just heard them praying in tongues. And then I was knocked out. I didn't know what was happening to me. I just felt it <laughs> like sensations surging <laughs> through my body. And then I was just knocked out. I didn't know what 
what's yeah, going on yeah. and all but i knew that when i opened my eyes later that's when they had finished and wheeled me back to my room and all i felt light and the the way i felt light was not the same way i felt after Syria was taken yeah. out so i was waiting to know what happened why am i feeling this light because that fiber was pretty big it was big man it was competing <laughs> i think was... when it was brought out the it was just remaining to add head I'm telling you, and the legs. Size, the size of it. Was the take size out of the it. head of the... Take out, just take out Zuriel's head, head arms, and, and, and legs. legs. That was the That's size the... of the, the, the fiber. It was big. It I was saw big. that as a you demon. <laughs> I remember you told me you cost it. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, Father, yeah, no, I was saying how, like, how you, what the doctor was explaining to me. So, so he now told them. So this, so they all agreed. So they had to knock you out completely. Yes, 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 yes. And then yes. they started because of the separate surgery. Ah, uh, yes, it was. They it had was. to cut you again. Yes, and, and then, then yes, the the, the the infused um blood transfused yes, blood yes. right away and yes yes brought out those were the two things i remembered yes. brought out the, the fiber, the fiber. so i said i hope my wife is fine i hope she'll be able to take it <laughs> you know everything is perfect ah. Jesus, all i love can remember too much, oh. is what the lord said too my much, angels too will much, be oh, in the theater yeah. praise god hallelujah now <clears throat> that was you see remember i said the fact that god is leading you doesn't mean there will be no challenges yes when the challenges come mm. don't forget that so, you were being led by, by god. god yes yes don't try to figure out how mm. to deal with the challenge exactly. yourself exactly. and that's where a lot of people go you miss wrong. it yes they are trying to figure out how to handle this challenge by, by themselves. themselves you can't mm. you were led there. there you know that's exactly <laughs> you know now now you know, i gave this illustration moses the children of israel this one there was no confusion about it mm. god says look i'm giving you an angel mm. to lead you to where you're going mm. he will be an, a, a pillar, pillar of fire by night yeah and a pillar of cloud by, by day. day so just follow the follow. angel and he led them right Led them to the Red right Sea. Right to the Red Sea. There was no mistakes. Not like the angel said, go this way. Moses said, no, no, no. This is how I came. Remember, Moses came from that mountain to Egypt and he mm -hmm. didn't cross any Red Sea. Mm -hmm. So there was actually a way mm -hmm. to that same mountain. Yes, without crossing the without Red, crossing the Red, cross Red Sea. The Red there was a way. But God said, follow this angel. First, the angel did not take them to follow a path that they knew. Mm -hmm. And that's God's way. Mm -hmm. Remember, his thoughts are not, it's not, mm -hmm. we are not on the same level mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. But you see, we ascend to, to think him. like him yes. when he leads us. Yes. They got there. Now imagine, I don't know what went through Moses' mind because they, they spent a great deal of time at that Red Sea. Mm -hmm. I don't know what was going through Moses' mind. I don't know if he was thinking, no. Um, how do we cross the rest? Do we have guys that are carpenters here? Can we begin to fell some trees? And and uh, I don't know what was going to them. I don't know what they were doing, but they were waiting until Pharaoh and his chariots Came began close. to come. Mm. Then they knew they had to do, do something. something. And what can we do now? There is nothing to do. Anything you want to do now will end in death. <laughs> So they did the smartest thing. Moses did the smartest thing. And what he should have done What since. he should have done since. Mm. Lord, why did you... And guess what? The angel led them to the Red Sea and, and stopped. waited. Why didn't the angel part the sea? The sea was, you are the one leading us now. See you, Just see, enter see. Now. Enter, cross, <laughs> part the sea. Let's keep moving. Then we know that God is leading us. You understand? Mm -hmm. But the angel got there and stopped. Sometimes. Because, listen, we, we think God should just do everything. Everything. But we forget that God is building us up, up to well. be like him. him. So he will lead you to an extent. Yeah. He will stop and watch to see what you are going, how you're going to reason, what you're going to think. Mm -hmm. So when Moses turned to cry to God, God said, don't cry to, to me, me now. Mm -hmm. That's what God said. Don't cry to me. Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Mm -hmm. Stretch your hands over the waters and, and divide it. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. 
had God previously told him to divide the sea before? Mm-hmm. There's no record of that. Mm-hmm. But God had taught him how to use the rod, rod that was in his hands. Yes. So the moment he got to the Red Sea, now he had done 10 different miracles mm. by that rod. Mm-hmm. So now he has gotten to a challenge. Yeah. He should have been smart enough to say, for us to be here, there's something God will want us to do. Mm. At least turn to the Lord, Lord and say, about Lord, it. what do yes. you want us to do yes. now? Yes. Should I use the rod? Mm. What? Now, I know he had not seen the sea part before. before yes. There's always that state of confusion and trying to figure out. But what? always remember. Always turn to the Lord to quickly. The Lord. Don't waste yes. time. Yes. Yes. Lord, what do we do? That's what we did. So, mm. Lord, what do we do? And the Lord gave us his word. The same way he gave Moses the word. Pat your, stretch your hand over the sea. And, and divide. divide it. Oh, really? And he went and stretched his hands. And the water divided. Mm. Then the angel came and started leaving. <laughs> Again. Don't stay too long in a place of challenge. If you don't know what to do, James 1 5 tells us what to do. Yeah. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask. Let him ask. I love the way, I can't remember which translation puts it that way. If you want to know what, what to, to do, do ask, ask the him. Lord. Yeah. Ask him. Why suffer for so, so long? long? Why? God speaks. God does speak. He does. He, he does. speaks. He listens. Now, the, the one that they said may not be able to take mm. in or carry pregnancy full term, mm. we have four, four now. Four now, to the glory of God. Now, the only pregnancy we had challenged was with Zuriel's on the first. After then, now, the same thing. When, when we are ready, we go before the Lord. Not because the Lord told us. We will go before the Lord and say, Lord, okay, we've had one now. Can we're you one? We're one? ready for the next one. Mm. Give us a, a, a another child whose name is written. is written in the book of life. We, we, we prayed that way. Yes. And then I remember the Lord spoke to me. Mm. Now, this is amazing. This one came. Yeah. Yes. The Lord spoke to me and said, I'm you going to give you a male child. child. That's what, yes. I'm going to give you a male child, mm-hmm. and his name shall be Jotham. Yeah. I told my <laughs> wife, I said, the word has come. This month, you're pregnant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. She, that, she that was without a child. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then the, 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 the third one, the third one, the same thing happened, yes, the third yes. one. The yes. name came before even the conception. Oh, the name came. Oh, yeah. The Lord says, look, I'm giving you another child. Mm. And when he comes, I'll begin to beautify your, your life. life. And that's how he gave me the name Jasmine. Hallelujah. Now, when we heard, when I heard Jasmine, normally I just thought it was a, a girl. We, we, I'm telling you the truth. Also, all the while, we thought it was a girl that yes, was coming yes. up until we realized a few weeks to the time, we checked the sex of your yes. realized it was a boy. a boy. I said, boy, uh, did God make a mistake? mistake. God told so me, So he had Jasmine. to go check. God told me mm. just so you just relaxed like it was a girl. You know, now now here was the funny thing. Yeah. God told me the name of the child, Jasmine. Mm. And then my mom calls me. That was even okay, no, that was when we were pregnant, I guess. Or my, no, my what mom calls say? me yeah. and said that God gave her a vision mm. about a child mm. that we have. Mm. And this is the name that God gave to her, Barikwame. Exactly. And that was the name. And the name. meaning yes. of Barikwame. Is the same meaning with, with Jasmine. Jasmine. Yes. Yes. So I like, whoa, you know. Now, to me, why would God give a boy a female name? Yeah. So I began to research. And then I found out that Jasmine was already originally a male, male name. name. Yes. And then they now you know, male, and they now got the female version. Mm-hmm. That's the one that's the, that now exactly became Yasmin. popular. Yeah. yeah. That now became popular. Popular, yeah. Know, yeah. So, like, so the jasmine for the boys is without the e. e yeah. For the girls, you it's add the e. e. Yeah. So I now, I now say God, God is just too wise, he is. and He's the ancient of days. He doesn't speak. Yeah, at that to, point, I was like, speak, He doesn't speak according to what is trending. <laughs> he speaks. He speaks according to His ancient with, wisdom. Exactly with His plan and yeah, His purpose, yeah. right on ground. Yeah. So, so that's how we, you know, that's how the name 
Yes, the, the third yeah, one. The third one. The third At that one point, I was like, I remember, anyone. The yeah, Lord gives me. I'm okay. No, we were not so particular. Not as the male of the male. Ah, the, hey, we, we've asked God for mm-hmm, a child. Mm-hmm. What He gives to us is mm-hmm. what is needed. Mm-hmm. What the ge- their generation will need yes. at that time. Yes, yes. And then the last one, ah. we had not even thought ah. of if we wanted another, another one. one. Now we had three, so we're like, mm, you know. My wife asked I me, are you going that. again? You said, let, let me see what <laughs> you want to do. I said, oh my goodness, this is a trap. <laughs> now, well, but really, we had not decided yet, because mm-hmm. normally there's a, there's a but time. But you handed it over to the Lord now. Mm-hmm. Let I know, me no, see I know. what the Lord will do. do. Yeah. Oh. But you know, normally we, yeah. we have at a certain time. Yes, yes, yes. Before we now say, okay, yes, we start yes, talking about yes, it. Yes, but yes. this one, we had not even reached, reached that, time. that time. Exactly. I remember I went to Israel ah. and came back from Israel. Mm. Next thing, I say, ah, I, I. You are the one that asked me because I had not. Usually we we just we talk about yeah, everything. everything. So yeah. you just told me like, ah, you've never complained that you're on your period recently. I'm like, ah, it's, it's true. true. And I That's said, what's, go- what's going on? I can't remember when I said something. <laughs> what's going on? Wait, we have not discussed this matter. How? <laughs> How did this happen? <laughs> now, so, oh now, now, I'm saying this that specifically, we didn't ask God for, for this, this one. one. Yeah. But God gave it to us. How do we yes. know God gave it to us? Because I began to say, okay, Lord, now, this one we didn't ask. This is the jara you're giving to us that mm. we didn't ask for. So what 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 do we call this one? And then the Lord spoke to me, and He said, "I'll give you a choice. Let's see. God is just too much between the wisdom of Daniel and the wisdom of Solomon. Which one do you want me to give you?" Mm. I said, "What kind of question is it?" Now, before then, I have I've been taught of the Lord mm. about the wisdom of Daniel, Daniel. and. I've compared, I've done that study and comparison. And so I said, Lord, I think the wisdom of Daniel yeah. supersedes the wisdom of Solomon. So I said, I would rather go with the wisdom of Daniel. Daniel. And the Lord says, Your child's name shall be Daniel. Daniel. And I'll begin to release that same kind of wisdom to you. So you see, all our children, that's how their names okay. came. Now that's why we know they are all special. And our time is up. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, thank Hallelujah. you, Lord Jesus. Thank From you, Jesus. you may not have a child mm, to so four. four children. And at mm. that four, we say, Lord, is enough. Our thank paper you. is full. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even the doctor had advised, of course, because yes. they were all yeah, by yeah. CS. Yeah. So the doctor advised that, ah, please, mm. a fifth CS will be very dangerous. Yeah. I said, look, we didn't even, we're not even sure what that. We should not say, <laughs> why don't we say, let's see what the Lord will do No, again. no, 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 Because, ah. no. because uh, I know even in my spirit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if, if the Lord does it, then uh, our time is up. <laughs> Father, we give you praise. Amen. Lord, we just mm, bless you. Thank you, hearts. Jesus. Thank you, you awesome. Papa. Thank you. You are awesome. Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you. We are grateful. We are grateful. This journey of 10 years, we are Lord, grateful. We thank, you. thank you, Jesus. And so, Lord, you're strengthening the marriages. You're strengthening the mm. faith Amen. of everyone that is watching right now. Amen. They will tell their own stories. Amen. Also. Amen. Glory and to God. strengthen others. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 God Lord. bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.